Hi, and welcome to another lesson with Master Everyday English. In today's lesson, we're focusing on shopping for clothes. So we're going to break the lesson into two parts. We're going to focus in on the useful vocabulary that you'll need to use if you're going into a clothes store and you want to go and speak to somebody in the clothes store about buying clothes. And then we're going to listen to uh, an everyday conversation between a customer and a clerk at the clothes store. Now, don't forget, if you enjoy these videos and you want to see more videos like them, please click on the link above uh, and that'll take you to my channel. There's lots more videos there or wait to the end of the video and you'll have some more choices for some videos there too. So to get us started, let's just think about some of the things you buy at a clothing store. I'm going to show you some pictures of some sort of typical clothes that you buy. Uh, see if you can remember the name of the item. After a few seconds, the word will come up on the screen and you can check. Let's talk a little bit about the sizes of clothes in the United States. So if you're going clothes shopping, it's worth knowing that in the United States, um, men's clothes and women's clothes might be sized differently to your own country. Most men's pants are sized by the waist, the, uh, the sort of like the size of the waist in inches. Now, for a very, very small waist, it starts at sort of 28 to 30 inches, and it goes up in two inch increments. So 28 to 30 would be extra small, and it goes up all the way to 62, 64, which would be five times extra large. Now for t-shirts, uh, shirts, sweaters, jackets, coats, those kind of things. Now, most of those are sized from small or extra small, medium, large, extra large, extra, extra large, and so on. And most sizes go up in the United States to about four or five extra large or XL. Women's sizes might be a little different to what you're used to as well. So for example, for dresses and tops, shirts, uh, blouses, those kind of things, they are normally sized similar to men's shirts and men's sheet t-shirts. They're normally sized from extra small, small, uh, medium, large, extra large. For women's skirts and pants, uh, there's a number system that starts zero, zero, and that's extra small. And then it goes up one, two, three, all the way to 22. And 22 is then an extra, extra large size. Okay, we've talked a little bit about the sizes and some of the basic clothes vocabulary. Now let's get into the vocabulary that is really useful if you're gonna have a conversation at a clothing store. Here's a list of the clothing vocabulary that we're going to look at today. Mm -hmm. 
Let's talk a little bit about those words. So now I'm going to give you a definition for each of those words in very simple English. Dressing room or fitting room. So most clothing stores will have a room where you can take clothes you're interested in and you maybe want to buy and you can go and you can change and see if you like them. Try on. To try on or to try something on means to just to check the clothes are what you want. To check to see if they fit, to check to see if you like the color or the style. Uh, yeah, that's what we mean by try on. Fit. The fit or to fit, it can be both a verb and a noun, uh, is to do with the size of the clothes and if they are the correct size for you. If they are the correct size, they fit. Tight. If the clothes are close to your body, or maybe too close to your body, you'd say the clothes are tight. Loose. Loose is the opposite of tight. So again, it's connected to the, the, the size of your clothes. If they are too big, uh, often if we speak about, for example, shirts or pants and they are too big and too far away from your body, then you would describe them as loose. Hanger. A hanger is a piece of, normally a piece of, long piece of uh, triangular wire or plastic. Uh, and normally that goes inside the shirt so that you can hold it up in place. Waist. Your waist is the middle of your body, between your stomach and your legs. This is normally where we measure for pants and skirts. Tag. A uh, tag is a small piece of paper or card you normally find inside uh, a shirt or inside a piece of clothing at the clothing store and it has information about the clothing, normally the price, um, any changes in the price, maybe the size, rack. If you go to a clothing store, you will find all of the clothes um, on these long sort of metal poles. That's called a rack. And very often they look something like this. Clearance. Most clothing stores uh, especially the bigger clothing stores will have an area or rack that is specifically what they call clearance. It basically means that all of the clothing items in that area are going to be cheaper. They're going to be significantly cheaper in some cases. Percent off. Normally, if you go to the clearance section, you'll notice that they have the percentage off. What that means is percentage less. So you pay that specific percentage less when you go to check out with your clothes. Good. So now you have the vocabulary. Let's just quickly repeat those words again. Dressing room or fitting room. Try on. Fit. Hanger tight, loose, waist, tag, rack, clearance, percent off. Quiz time. I'm going to give you the definition. See if you can remember what's the word. The place where you change to try on new clothes. That's the dressing room or the fitting room. When your clothes are the correct size. That's fit. When your clothes are too small and, and close to your body. Tight. When your clothes are too big and too far away from your body. Loose. The small piece of paper or card you find inside the shirt in the clothing store normally gives you the size and the price. 
That's the tag. The long metal pole where all the clothes hang. That's the rack. The area of the store where all of the clothes are sold at a cheaper price. That's the clearance section. Good. Okay, so now you have all of that really useful vocabulary, stuff that's really important going into a clothing store that you know these words. So now let's listen to the conversation between a customer who wants to try on some clothes and the clerk who's working in the store. Listen carefully for those words that we studied. Hi, uh, is the dressing room open? Uh, I want to try these clothes on. Sure. How many items do you have? I have, uh, I have three shirts and two sets of pants, so that's uh, five total. Okay, sure. Go to the last room at the end. Do, 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 do. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to try this. Yeah, this seems okay. How was everything? Did they fit okay? Not really, no. Uh, the pants were too loose and the shirts were tight. Uh, yes, yeah, so not that great. I'm sorry. Well, you can leave them with me. Um, are the hangers still in the room? Yes, yeah, sorry, I left the hangers in the room. No problem. I'll go get them. And what size are you? Uh, pants, I'm normally a 34 waist. And uh, shirts, I'm um, large. Try the rack in the back. There are more sizes there. Um, there's also a clearance rack. Most items are up to 50% off. They should say on the tag how much. Okay, great. Yeah, I'll go and have a look. Thank you. No problem. Okay, that's it for today. Thank you for joining me. Uh, don't forget, if you enjoy these videos, please give me a thumbs up and click to subscribe.